continues off the top at six. Norfolk's police chief says the use of force by a canine team on a Norfolk State University student was unreasonable. That information came down late this afternoon. The student is recovering at home in Northern Virginia. Back here in Hampton Roads, there's plenty of reaction. We have team coverage. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings talked to the police chief about the investigation and the ruling. And Liz Palka got reaction from city leaders. Brandy, to you first. What's the chief saying about this tonight? Well, tonight, Tom and Nicole, Chief Goldsmith is saying he takes full responsibility for what he calls a policy that failed his officers. Chief Goldsmith told me earlier today that typically the use of dog uh, has to deal with uh, felony suspects, building searches, tracks, and the protection of officers, but neither of those was the case on Sunday morning. Late Thursday afternoon, Norfolk Police Chief Michael Goldsmith admitted it was unreasonable that his officers used a canine to arrest 21-year-old London Colvin Sunday. Make no mistake, I expect my officers to exercise good judgment all the time. Most of the time, they get it right. Sometimes we make mistakes. We're human beings. Wednesday, 10 on your side spoke to a witness who says Colvin and several friends were leaving an off-campus party on Bain Avenue. Two of them were unknowingly punched by other people. The woman told 10 on your side police wanted to ask Colvin questions, but she refused. Somehow she ended on the ground with a police dog attacking her. Colvin faces misdemeanor resisting arrest and disorderly conduct charges. I'm not going to comment on the mechanics of this. You have to realize that this case, you know, the charges against Ms. Colvin still stand. Uh, it has to go to trial. Although not talking about the details of the investigation and saying it's still underway, Chief Goldsmith did tell me there were several officers there when this happened and there were no other arrests that night related to this. It's my job to ensure the outcomes of this police department and it's my job to provide the officers of this police department the appropriate tools to make good judgments in reference to these things. We have a policy that failed them. We have a policy that did not provide the appropriate guidance in reference to these matters, it's up to me to fix that. And tonight, Chief Goldsmith saying he will fix it by amending that policy, but there is no word yet on just how long that will take. However, the current policy is six pages long. We have that posted on our website, wavy.com. We do want to mention tonight, Tom Nicole, that we also spoke to the NAACP. They told me in an interview late this evening that they feel like the decision by Chief Goldsmith was a step in the right direction, although they say their investigation into whether or not excessive force was used is still underway. They also also told me that they are preparing to go to court with London Colvin in March. Live in Norfolk, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side. All right, thank you, Brandy. Now we're going to switch to 10 on your side's Liz Palka. And Liz, the right, vice mayor go. had strong reaction to this case. You talked to her? Right, Nicole and Tom. Angela Williams told me she is not happy about this incident. First, that London Colvin was so seriously injured, but also she's upset that city officials did not find out about this sooner. Williams said she heard about the incident involving Colvin and her injuries on Tuesday night, and she almost didn't believe it. She started getting calls from concerned citizens on Wednesday. We also learned the city manager found out about the incident on Tuesday. Given this happened over the weekend, Williams told me the city manager and city council should have learned about it much sooner, especially because this is an extraordinary situation. Williams added a police canine used to attack a woman who was already on the ground is not acceptable. There's not a reason that you can give me that makes sense with trained officers and a young lady that's give or take 135 pounds, maybe 100. 20, 30 pounds or whatever, there's not a reason to let a dog loose. Williams added, there are good police officers here in the city of Norfolk, and she had a message for college students and their parents. Students are safe here in the city, and city council will be addressing this incident. Live in Norfolk, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Earlier today, Norfolk State University issued a statement referring media to the police and adding that the school's priorities are focused on London Colvin's well-being. Now to recap our breaking news, Norfolk's police chief, who is a former K-9 officer himself, says the use of force on an NSU student was unreasonable. He says he'll review the use of K-9 units and address the officer's actions. The chief's full statement is on wavy.com.